Hi, I'm John Wilson, President of the Royal Australasian College of Physicians. I've just come off a busy weekend working in ICU, on the ward and with coronavirus patients. COVID and the uncertainty it brings has hit us all pretty hard and this year including our training programs. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the DPEs, supervisors and trainees for your resilience. Unlike many colleges, have put this year's training on hold, we have aimed to make as much as possible out of 2020 and make it count towards training programs. This challenge has been to make sure that we have maintained the highest possible standards in the face of challenge, including clinical assessments, all the way through to the best possible clinical training. We recognise that some elements of training may not be achievable this year. We've made changes that apply to all training programs and some changes that are specific to individual ones. We've also had to make changes that include postponing many of our assessments. The chapter of sexual health medicine assessments will be held by video conference later this month, and I'd like to wish the candidates all the best. As COVID eased in many regions, we also started looking at how we could run the divisional clinical exam earlier to help trainees progression with the support of our college training committees. It is one of the biggest exams, with over a thousand candidates attempting it each year. For those of you in Australia, we're splitting the exam in two and taking a modular approach. The first part of the exam will be held virtually, that is by video, to minimise the health risks for patients, candidates and examiners. For those of you in Aotearoa, New Zealand, we're running the modular exam for adult medicine candidates. After looking at the small number of paediatrics candidates in New Zealand, we've decided that the exam can go ahead as normal. The number of exam attempts will be optimised for candidates by not counting the exam scheduled for this year towards the total number of attempts. I'd like to thank the members of our college who volunteer on various committees and advisory groups, as well as the college staff. Running both our training and assessment units is a full-time operation and these two groups have the added pressures of finding solutions to the changes imposed by the COVID pandemic. Obviously, a lot could happen in the coming months and we must hope for the best and be prepared for the worst. The training and exam plans may change. They could. And I thank you for your professionalism and flexibility in understanding this. Let's keep in mind that many others in the community finishing school and at university are facing the same challenging situation. I'd also like to take this opportunity to speak on behalf of our membership to those of you in Victoria. Please know we are thinking of you. We are here for you. Please utilise our RACP support program if needed and continue to support your well-being as well as your colleagues. Ask them, how are you? Ask them, what do you need? We're here to help you. Thank you for listening.